my honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm getting ready to air fry some chicken wings. And I'll be using this kind of breading. It's called butt fat chicken. I'm going to do some in the hot and spicy and some in the season. So that's the original. Okay, it was just sent to me by this company. And I'll leave the information to get this. I'll leave it in my description box, the link for it. So, it has, it has no MSG and no artificial color. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, I'll be using my breader shaker bowl. I'll leave a link in my description box where to get this because you all always ask me about it. Of course you can use a Ziploc bag, a brown paper bag, you can use a bowl with a lid, you can use whatever you've been doing, you can use that. But I like using my breader shaker bowl. I'll be using some grapeseed oil I'll put in here. And I'll be using my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill. Right here. So I'm going to, uh, I have already washed my wings and cut them up into sections. And I always blot them as dry as possible with paper towel. So that's what I'm doing now. You want to start off, start out with some dry wings. That's how I do my wings. Okay. That's what gives you a nice golden brown, quick crispy wing. Make them as dry as possible. Even though I'm going to put a mustard marinade on it. Still dabbing them dry with paper towel. Sopping up the water in the bottom of the bowl. Okay. And I'm gonna wash my hands before I touch the mustard bottle. And to get them really dry, you can dab them with paper towel. Then you can put them in the refrigerator for a little while if you want to. And they'll continue to dry out. So I'm gonna wash my hands, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be using my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill right here. I have this in here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna set it for air crisp. And I set it for two, uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 22 minutes. Okay, and I'm turning it on. And right now it's preheating. So while it's preheating, I'll be preparing this breader shaker bowl. It's made like this. It has a little cage thingamajig in here. So I'm going to put the breading in here. Not all of it. I don't want to waste it. Using that much. And then, I like to smell this pepper. Woo! I like that this bag has reclosable, a resealable top. Keep it fresh. This is what I'm going to do to my wings. Here they are. I'm going to slather them with some mustard. It's regular hot dog mustard. That's a good squirt. Okay, that's good. 
And I'm going to season them with some Old Bay. Season them. Season them with whatever you want to season them with. Because the breading is seasoned. So you can skip this step if you want to. This is what I do. Put my glove on and smush it. Make sure everything is covered with the mustard. Okay, that's good. I don't want to overcrowd this because I want my chicken to be ev evenly coated. Okay, that's good. Okay, and my ninja foodie just called me. It says add food. So it's already it's through preheating. So let me shake this. Shake off the excess. You know what? I'm gonna use some of the uh, the regular also. So I'm gonna put every all the spicy ones to one side, and then I'll put the regular ones to the other side. I'm going to open up this bag of the seasoned. So that's the regular. It's not hot and spicy. Put it in this other brighter shaker bowl. You can see the spices in it. Seal it up. And I'm going to put this chicken in here. And people always ask me why I coat my chicken with mustard. Because it seasons good and it tenderizes and helps the seasoning stick. And it has turmeric in it and turmeric is good for you. Good for aches and pains. That's what this looks like. it nicely. Shake off the excess. Put in this. Breading smells good. Okay, I'm going to sp spray my chicken with some grapeseed oil. Oops, I'm spraying all back there. See how it looks. So it's going to cook at 400 degrees for 22 minutes. 
I'm not going to flip it. And I will be back. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to combine these spicy and the regular breadings. So I still have chicken in that bowl. Just mix the two breadings together. Put the rest of this chicken in here. I'm gonna touch it. So if you find that you've bought the spicy and the regular, and the regular is, I mean the spicy is too hot for you, mix it. Up nicely. Okay, so well, I will be back. And let me read how it tells you to fix the chicken. Okay, it tells you to mix five tablespoons of chicken breading mix and a half a cup of water. We want you to make a batter first. And then dip your chicken in that batter. And then put this on it. Dump the chicken in this breading mix. So it's battered and breaded. I just breaded mine. You know, I skipped that first step that they suggest. So you can have it your way. So I will be back when the chicken is done. Okay, while my chicken is air frying, I'm making some mashed potatoes. Done. I'm gonna put some butter in it. I'm gonna go gravy, so I'm gonna put some butter. Turn that off. Let me show y'all what I use for mashed potatoes. I've got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Okay, this is what I use. That's how I make good mashed potatoes. Of course, I doctor it up. Put in chicken broth. And I use black pepper, white pepper, some Himalayan pink salt, maybe a teaspoon, and this garlic and herb. Seasoning. It tastes delicious. And this white pepper, it makes a difference. So, I will be back when the chicken is done. Okay, my chicken is almost done. I got 52 seconds left. It's done now. <clears throat> but I'll let it finish. I'll stop it. I'm tired of waiting. Did not flip the chicken. It was 
just add a medium or the one with spicy. The spicy is a little more red than the regular or seasoned. That's what they call it. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. I think this was a regular piece. Well, it stuck to the other one. Thing to fall on my hand. Wait a minute, pull it out too. unplug my kitchen gadgets. This is the regular on this side and this is the spicy on that side. So I'm going to taste the piece of each. That's what y'all waiting for, I know. Taste test. piping hot. What piece is that? I don't know. It's hot. <laughs> I didn't flip the chicken. Okay, this is a spicy. You hear the crispiness? my bow. That's good. It's spicy, but it's not too spicy. Okay, let me taste the regular. Ooh. This is what it looks like. Take my thumbnail. Woo, it's hot. Tastes like grandma's fried chicken. It's not spicy. It's seasoned, good, but it's not hot and spicy. What's supposed to be hot and spicy, it is. But it's not too hot. Okay? And it has flavor. Not, not just hot, but it's good. So, do I recommend the butt that chicken? Chicken breading? Yes, I do. And the prices are not exorbitant. Um, you can get two bags for $11, and the shipping and handling is $5. I looked on their website. So, as of today, that's what the prices are. They might change. It's very good. Chicken is crispy. Tastes good. And later on, I'm going to taste the hot taste mixed together. Both the breadings mixed together. But this is good. And I did it my way. I didn't batter it first and then bread it. I just breaded it. So. so I'm going to 
trying to arrange this chicken so I can make a thumbnail. I can put my bit chicken back in there. So I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Let me angle this downward. Really good fried chicken, y'all. But that chicken, that's the name of this breading. My first time using it. And I give it two thumbs up. Okay, y'all be blessed. Bon appetit. Bye. Here's my dinner. Okay, I'm going for real now. Bye.